Well, I'm Cameron here reporting. You're on attacked in Sunny Isles Beach, and now another teenager is under arrest. The alleged attacker, just 18 years old and facing serious charges. Local 10's Leanne Morajon is live from the jail with what led up to it all. Leanne. Well, police say this started off as a bullying, teasing incident and then escalated to that vicious violence that you saw in the video. We're told, according to police, that they are also looking for another teenager that they say engaged in all of it. A 14-year-old boy on the receiving end of a brutal beating. Fellow teens speaking Russian are heard egging on the attacker. 18-year-old Mikola Sokol, seen here in this photo shooting the bird, is behind bars. Investigators say he's the same guy in this video, raining blows on the victim. It appeared that he beat him unconscious, and then once he was unconscious, he punched him and kicked him in the face after he was rendered unconscious. The fight happened the night of March 16th at Senator Gwen Margolis Park in Sunny Isles Beach. Police say Sokol approached the victim and made a comment about his hat. As he reached for it, the victim slapped his hand away, and then the fight ensued. <laughs> this video posted to social media became central to the investigation. Sokol can be seen wrestling with and punching the victim, even stomping on his head. Sokol gets in one last kick as the victim is down. Another video shows the victim being led away, visibly injured. There was some visible facial injuries as a result of it. On Friday, Sokol came to the police station with his mother and an attorney. He invoked his right to stay silent and was transported to jail, facing one count of aggravated child abuse. Police say a second teen seen throwing punches will likely be charged as well. Here in Sunny Isles Beach, we're not going to just uh, let people run amok and, and, and fight and, and commit crimes like this. They will be investigated and you will find yourself on the wrong side of the law. I spoke to the victim's mother by text today. She says that right now, is uh, her focus, her priority is her son's continued recovery. But she did say she's very happy with the job that Sunny Isles police are doing. Reporting live in West Miami Dade, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.